Hey everybody, it's Ryan here at PHP, speaking on behalf of Biogenemics. We've discussed joint axes and landmarks as related to the hip on the table, just to give you, kind of give you a brief overview of where we're going to be headed. We've got an actual person on the table to kind of guesstimate as to where these joint axes and landmarks might be. We've got to really try to work with our hands and work with our clients as far as trying to find out exactly where these are, so that when we get into this scenario, bringing in some force application, get a better idea of maybe how to apply a force, how to line our people up based on where our joint axes are. Okay? So with our uh, skeleton here, we're gonna start looking, we're gonna basically start off with looking at our frontal plane axis. Okay? At the iliofemoral joint, which is gonna run somewhere right through there. Okay, through the head of the femur. Okay? So knowing my axis is now here, around this axis, as we've discussed in previous videos, we can produce sagittal plane motion, right? And in this scenario with this machine, okay, I've got my resistance here, right? So as I'm going through, and just kind of give you a quick overview, the application of that resistance there, I have to produce and muscular participation here, I've got to come up with force that goes into hip flexion, which is my sagittal plane motion around my frontal plane axis. Okay? And then coming out of that, I control it into hip extension. Right? So if I add a different scenario of my knee leg being straight and produce that same motion knowing I've got this resistance here okay I have to come up with torque around the hip trying to maintain a straight leg position with that resistance okay what does this do well we discuss in other videos our length tension relationship so this is gonna kind of mess with that length tension, tension relationship. So I encourage you to check out our other videos to see what that's all about.